So finally, the big trucks from the S5 category again, the Tatra 505. And uh, Dutchman Wim Kampschreuer and André von Koigten. Kampschreuer professes to be a Tatra 813 nutter. Well, he can argue with him. After all, he drives one around uh, disused quarries for a weekend hobby, so he can't be entirely disaffected with them. Now, uh, there are three helmets inside the cab of this truck. I have three names on my information sheet, but clearly one of the helmets is unoccupied, either that or he's nodded off, which seems unlikely to me. So, driving certainly in 511, Enrico Knoblech, and passengering possibly Richard Schmidt, and possibly Stefan Neubert. Conceivably both, but not at the same time. 502, Cornelius Schoelenberg again, and uh, the Dutchman, partnered by Patrick Boer, who took on the ravine for the first time in these trucks, determined to prove it could be done. And these Tatra monsters are really some Earth movers when they get uh, faced with a solid bank, aren't they? 507, Heinrich Schutz and Volker Patsikos, Patsikias even, finding their way around the course. Only at this stage without too much problem. All those wretched wooden sticks, well, flatten them anyway. These are serious machines, aren't they? Now, what young lad would not like one of those in his toy box? How much sand could you get out of a sand pit and halfway around the garden? And I think for uh, Schutz, the fascination has continued probably from childhood. He says, uh, I've been driving trucks like this since I was 18, and uh, it's obviously in my blood, fascinated by every aspect of these vehicles. And uh, I enjoy the competition as well. I really like getting in and having a go at everything. So the results then in the S1 category, the husband and wife, Bormann Perry, beating off French opposition. The Austrians, Leopold and Emmerich, taking it in S2. And uh, a third different nation, the Dutch, winning with Frank Langenberg and Michael Flam in S3. Austria again scoring with Helmut Kropfel and uh, Hermann Ancini, a great run from them in S4. And the Monsters, Heinrich Schutz and Volker Patzkiers from Germany, beating off considerable and rather confusing opposition. Into the prototype class, Wolfgang Bullers in his unique Unimog special, takes P1. Helmut Rauber takes P2 and finds out that a timber wolf, a timber jack rather, is not for digging holes with. And that's the way they finished in Voigtsburg. But what about the European Championships? Well, a slightly different story.
So results of the European Championships then. The S1 overall winners, Ronald and Rita Borman, six wins out of six events. Second, Jackie Rebo. Third, Stefan Outs. Reinhard Leopold taking the S2 category from Olaf Hormann, Hoffman, thank his pardon, and Havel Kaczak. And incidentally, don't you think that truck trialling goes superbly with uh, classical music? Given the setting of Voigtsburg, I would have uh, hazarded a guess that uh, that was a little bit of Strauss. And uh, a very nicely put together compilation as well. Wolfgang Bitzer taking the S4 category from Helmut Kropfo. And Andreas Busch in third. And the S5 winners, Wim, Wim Kampstroiger from the Netherlands, from Enrico Knobloch. And they are Norbert and Schmidt, both in the same place. They do exist. Axel Christiansen coming in third. Wolfgang Bullers taking the first of the prototype categories, P1. Leo Wolf, the runner-up. And Helmut Rauber taking the P2 category. Josef Eyinger in second place for the home side. Jan Philipp taking third. So, what's the secret to successful truck trialling? Well, Leopold, uh, Reinhard Leopold reckons that there is no real secret to it. Basically, keep your motivation levels high, set yourself uh, an achievable target and take a few risks on the way. Ronald Berman says, uh, stay calm inside the vehicle. It's a mental exercise as much as anything else. And uh, the organizer says, the weather was good here for the final event. 70 competitors this year. We'd love to see new teams next year. And hopefully, as I mentioned earlier, events in the Czech Republic added to the calendar next year, as well as Sweden, Lithuania, and hopefully a German round as well. Certainly for Peter, the German organizer. And then a double weekender in France and Spain to round up the championship next year. So ambitious plans for the 97 Europa Truck Trials Championship. And you'll be able to see that on Eurosport during the course of next year. And we'll leave you with the gala fireworks spectacle and the gala truck spectacle. Some of the highlights of the 96 season. Well, I go off and have my soluble aspirin gargle. Enjoy this, and we'll see you soon with more truck trialling here on Eurosport. Until then, Martin Haven saying goodbye.